The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McChristmas. And alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Fuck off, Scotty. No. It's Christmas, Jeremy. Yeah. 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 Fuck off in a jolly fashion. <laughs> How about that? No, no, I'm gonna do it in a, in a. Go try and slide down a chimney. I <laughs> dare you. Okay, fine. That always works out well for people who try. Yeah, I know. And also another excellent stand-up comedian, the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. I get a title now. You do, man. Damn, okay. Yours is actually real, though. Jeremy's is real. I know. Did you yes. see that fucking triple play? It's all over YouTube. <laughs> it was It was in a fucking newspaper article, you dicks. <laughs> okay, Free fine. YouTube. Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, but anyways, welcome in to another great episode. This is the Christmas edition of the this show, which is not that Christmassy. No, except not for, on no, our end, not. except for you. Except for me. I'm wearing an ugly Christmas sweater. I get enough of this shit at home. It says shitter's full. Yeah. Good old cousin Nothing, Eddie. nothing yeah. says Christmas like shit. Yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's actually Scotty's line at the gay bar. <laughs> oh, really? Hey, Thanks. shitter's oh, full. Sorry. Uh, oh, that's yeah. great. Come um, back later. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but this, if this is your very first time listening to this podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, and we like to make inappropriate jokes about uh, nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 95% of the time, they are uh, targeted towards me. Mm-hmm. This is also an adult podcast. Those aren't like, jokes. Oh, those are real we, things. Yeah. We mean we it. Mean Sorry. It. Yeah. My, my mistake. And then uh, also, this is a uh, adult podcast. We like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and good night. Okay, we got a lot of stuff, boys. We got an absolutely horrendous week of football to talk about. We got uh, a little bit of boxing drama. We got uh, you know the regulars, real shit, horseshit, overrated, underrated, and a little surprise. No, I'm just kidding. Questions and preguntas and a uh, draft and shitty situation. Mm-hmm. But as always, let's start off with our week, week recap. Let's tell everybody about how our week went. So, uh, Derek. Yeah, what? How was your week, dude? It was all right. It was uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. What'd you do? Uh, me and uh, my best friend, Brian, uh, exchanged our Christmas gifts because uh, we don't get to see each other on Christmas. Oh. So uh, I, I thought I did pretty good. Is it because of work release? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can't he's not far. He's not allowed, allowed around children. Yeah. Sure. So. Makes sense. Um, so him and I both are avid autograph collectors and things like that. Yeah. So uh, I got him a uh, – he'd been talking about it for a while. So I Tell got him, him a, I said he's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got him a signed photo of Tom Hanks uh, <clears throat> uh, from, like, Forrest Gump where he's in the white suit. and Who signed it? Uh, believe it or not, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> impressive. I'll be goddamn. Gary Sinise you himself. Got Gary Sinise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm impressed. So, I wonder if he'd sign some of our headshots. But yeah. he, he actually nice. uh, he got me something that I've been looking for for years and actually bought fake and had to fight like hell to return it to the store called Art of Music in Vegas. Anson Williams. Yeah. No. Patsy uh, Weber himself. Sam, Sam Kennison. Really? really? He got a he, he got a he found a signed C D and a yearbook that they used uh, Sam Kinnison's school picture as the cover of that C D. That's cool. So I have the yearbook with Sam Kinnison's photo in it. Wow. That it's old as shit. I have that and the C D that is uh autographed by Sam Kinnison. That's awesome. Did which it say hope you have a groovy summer? It does not. Oh. <laughs> it says, Oh, Sam Kinnison. <laughs> it says oh. fuck off. I fucking I've been looking for years. I could not believe it. That's probably one of the coolest things anybody's ever gotten me. Yeah, I'm sure I, that because the I remember that story of you getting the fake one. Oh god, that that was I was like nightmare. I don't even I didn't even care if the Cubs jersey was fake at that point. I was like, please just let the album be real, and yeah. it wasn't. I I want to mark that down as just just remember that I once bought him McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right, and I'm fat. Yeah. 
Um, so we did that. Uh, again, another record-breaking week. I have not been to HR. Very good. I uh, thought I was going to be there close today, or I thought I pissed a kid off. Uh, mm. He came you in. probably did. <laughs> I, probably. He was, uh, they were all trying to figure out lunch, and I guess everybody had eaten lunch except for like him and a couple other people. Mm-hmm. And he goes, well, he looks at one girl. He goes, I guess it's just you and me for lunch today. we got to figure it out on our own. And she goes, oh, no, I've got so-and-so. He's going to bring me back a corn dog from Sonic. And he's like, oh, man. I, fuck, I wish I would have known that. And she's like, well, you can text him. He's like, I'm going to do that. So he texts him, and he's like, hell, yeah. He's bringing me back three corn dogs from Sonic. <laughs> and my boss is standing there. He goes, three corn dogs? And I was like, yeah, he just wants to impress everybody by showing us all he can fit three corn dogs in his mouth at once. <laughs> Like, hey, guys, check me out. Check this out. You guys want to see something cool? No HR. No HR. I, no HR. I'll be done. I've only ever done that. I, I do that once a year, by the way. The three, three corn, corn dogs. dogs. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> Every Halloween, Sonic has 50 cent corn dogs. Oh, okay. And that's what we do. Do they make dinner. cream corn dogs? They yeah. should do this. I would love to see it if they did. <laughs> cream corn dogs. <laughs> Popcorn dogs. <laughs> Uh, with, made with real dog. Yeah. I also uh, survived a near death experience. Oh yeah. Yes. Did I almost was. I almost wasn't here. Oh. Uh, it was. It was Shucks. really close. Uh, we were. I was drinking. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It was a Christmas party we had for the bar I used to work at. Mm hmm. And we, it was a big table. We were all playing LCR, and uh, Journey came on. Jesus. <laughs> and I was right in the middle of it. And couldn't get the fuck away. <laughs> I almost you off myself stop right there. Yeah. I almost off myself right fucking there. <laughs> they were all screaming, uh, and I was, but not lyrics. <laughs> Mine was more for help. Yeah, yeah. I almost started just hollering racial slurs. Someone would take me out of my misery. Let me ask you this: Did it go on and on and on oh, and on? Oh, it did. Great. It was awful. I love it. Yeah, and then I was talking to somebody, and I came to an odd. Odd uh, observation. Okay. We were just talking about how uh, growing up, Jeremy, it's things are different, obviously, right? I don't see how. Well, right, yeah. <laughs> uh, Everything's exactly how it was when I was a kid. People's right. people's behavior, <laughs> including your penis size, mm -hmm. right? People's behaviors change, and it's like the one thing that I that I've noticed that's different now is like people don't smoke in the house or in the car. Like my mother does not smoke in the house. She won't smoke in the car. She'll smoke outside, and that's it. When You're I was meats or cigarettes? Cigarettes. Okay. No, okay. When I was growing up, she would hotbox me in that fucking car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, God forbid her car now smell like cigarette, but I'll kill my kid for a Marlboro. Mm -hmm. like, I couldn't fucking believe it. I'd sat in there, and I was like, man, I grew up, like, reeking of cigarette smoke going to school. That's why we're much like, more hardcore now. Yeah. I, I got very fortunate that neither of my parents were smokers. Okay. Yeah. But but no, I know exactly what you're talking about. There was a one particular kid that I mean he just smelled like an inside of an ashtray. Went mm -hmm. to school with him every day. And it didn't matter how well he washed. It he just can't get that out of it. Right. And um what I can't believe, uh one one of the things that I love actually in this country is that there is still representatives on behalf of the uh, a big tobacco that go in front of Congress every so often and be like yeah, there's still no actual proof that cigarettes cause cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't actually make the absolute 100% direct link. They're only like 98.4% sure. Yeah. So, Makes yeah. Makes sense. That poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> they pay him a fuck ton of money to oh, go yeah. try and explain the unexplainable. Oh, yeah. Uh, anything else? No, that is, that is what that I've is got. It. That was That's my a, week. Sounds like a great week, man. I drank a lot of beer. Yeah. Well, not beer. I drank a lot of bourbon. Oh. Well, that beer beer is not as good as bourbon. Bourbon's way better. Yeah, absolutely. Um, my week, uh, I I was scrounging for for Christmas presents. I do it every fucking year and I don't mean to. And we and we got this fancy company called Amazon that'll ship shit to your house. You don't even have to go and deal with people. Yeah, that's what now. Yeah. Are you talking like large women? Yeah. Those Amazons? Shipped straight from Brazil. Brazil? Nice. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but still, 
no matter what, I always uh, I always fail. You guys know that more more than anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, <coughs> but uh, I, I got into the pickle, and now I'm I'm trying to get out of it. So I'm going to places to find certain things, and naturally, you don't find your size that you're looking for or anything like that. Yeah, uh, or it's not double headed like you like. It's only right. single headed. <laughs> right. Uh, but it won't bend back around to get both heads in the same <laughs> hole. Whatever. <laughs> Does it come with batteries or the vibrate switch is stuck on? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm talking about clothes and other stuff, but that sounds like fun toys, what you're mentioning. (laughs) Sounds like your whole top dresser Mm -hmm. drawer. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, I think I can hear it right now. (laughs) That one that won't shut off. Yeah. (laughs) But anyways, no, but probably the most frustrating thing now is how many fucking people that are exactly like me that are doing the exact same shit. Dude, this is nothing uh, new. I, I mean, know. every fucking month, go to the tag office on the 31st oh, and see yeah. what that's like. Everybody waits till the last minute. I was That's where I was before I came here. I was out doing some last-minute Christmas shopping. Mm-hmm. Got some tags. At least, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least, does your wife at least tell you some things she wants? No. No. Okay. Not at all. Nope. Well, then never mind. Because <laughs> all I get is the, uh, you know what I like. <laughs> sometimes just get not her. in bed i sure don't uh, <laughs> just get her a new christmas tree mm-hmm. yeah, every year every year you have a fucking yeah. forest yeah. yeah i'll get you christmas for christmas <laughs> yeah. jesus christ uh but but speaking of which that was uh actually you briefly mentioned it that was what wrapped up my uh my week i finally went and renewed my uh my tags on my truck at least you didn't wait till the 31st. No, but I also was due back in fucking May. <laughs> I, they are that late. You were that tag? Oh, yeah. I should have called that in. <laughs> you should have. Son of a bitch, Jeremy. Not yeah, his driver's not. license. No, your tags. no. My, ta- my driver's license, I just recently got uh, done, and that was like four months overdue. So, How in the fuck did you get away with it for this long? I'm very sneaky. Jeremy. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're you're not sneaky, you're not clever, you're not smart. You're not attractive. You're you're not uh necessary. Oh, really. Um but I, of all the things you're not, sneaky is right up there. Yeah. Uh but no, I'm I'm just I don't know, special. Typically cops can't wait to pull you over for that shit. Yep. They missed me. So there you go. Uh but that was my week. All right. Go ahead, Jeremy. Well, let's see. Last week, I went and saw Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider-Man. Oh, cool. no. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew this about him. Does whatever a spider can. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, revealed in this movie. Um, no, it's a good movie. Oh. Um, it, it was made for a very specific purpose that people aren't seeming to figure out. It doesn't progress the Marvel story at all. Um but uh, I won't blow everything for everybody. I really like the Uncle Ben biopic. They yeah, had. I did too. I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am so glad with this most recent iteration of Spider-Man. In fact, well, fuck. I don't yeah, want to blow spoil anything. It. Can't God spoil damn it. it. Yeah. Can't do it. You fucking spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Um, but you liked it. I, I, I did. I liked it. Wow. It relied impressive. pretty heavily on nostalgia, but... But yeah, I liked it. It's got to be a ninety nine on Rotten Tomatoes of Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy, it, it, I believe ninety eight something <laughs> point four. Yeah. Ninety eight yeah. point four. It's the exact same percentage of the people that are trying to confirm that cancer is caused by cigarettes. Same same percentage. It's exact. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was the wrong button. <laughs> uh, Let's see. And then, uh, according to uh, my wife, this whole Amazon thing, Mm -hmm. in order to get some of the gifts that she had ordered for people online, uh, she had to sign sign up for Amazon Prime. Yes, she did. Finally, that that put me in the exclusive category of people who have Amazon Prime television now. Damn. So um, I worked all weekend, so I didn't have a whole lot of free time. Once again, somebody came up with a brilliant idea. Let's come in at 4 (laughs) a.m. So uh, that's actually been Scotty this whole time. Yep. I make the call in. What, do I need a fucking other reason to want to destroy him? (laughs) To want to fucking park my car on his face? (laughs) No, I don't. (laughs) And then peel out Uh in your front-wheel drive Volvo? It's a all-wheel drive, motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) That's the most badass station wagon on the planet. Safe, too. Yeah. Five-star safety rating. Anyways, um, so... 
Uh, I got to watch uh, in my free time. I started watching The Boys. Yeah. Um, that's dark. <laughs> it's a little bit dark. It's yeah. real fucking dark. Yeah. And then uh, I also started watching The Tick, which, <laughs> have you watched it? Superhero shows, Jeremy. Yeah, a lot of lot Welcome. of fucking saving the day this weekend. God, we're just killing random people. Yeah, <laughs> if you watch The Boys. Um, <laughs> but so, yeah, and then... Uh, my uh, father-in-law flew in today. He should be at my house by the time I get home. So I'm prepping for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Merry Christmas that's to me. Right. Yeah. Jesus. Well, like I said, let's... Uh, I'll get to see when I get home what all's wrong with my house. Yeah, that's true. He'll have a, he'll have like he'll a have list. He'll have a fucking list. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's you know, you need to fix this. What it's going to be is like, I really like that Christmas tree. You know, that one time uh, we got a Christmas tree and it was missing the stump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where yeah. he's gonna, it, was, it was just limbs. There was no <laughs> trunk to it at all. He's going to one down you. Yes, he is. Just all day. Mm-hmm. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. How long you been at your job now? You've been there. You've been doing aircraft what twenty three years now. I once worked at McDonald's for a month and a half. <laughs> Jeez, you know that's pretty nice. You guys got carolers yep. that come through here. Only people that knock on our door is a guy named Steve who had yeah. to let us know that he moved in and he was a sex offender <laughs> and he brought only, us a cake and he only sings "Don't Stop Believing" by Derek. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's keeps asking great. where's Derek's house. <laughs> Uh, well, that's great, guys. I'm glad you guys all had a great week. Uh, we've got a big one coming up. This show is uh, is a good show to listen to on a uh, long trip. So all of you guys traveling, I hope you do that very, very safely, but enjoy this show. Unless you're oh, going one to other Wisconsin. Thing. Oh. One other thing. Can I uh, can I tell you about a conversation I had with my wife? Oh, Absolutely. Do. Oh, my God. There's so much. Is it in English or uh, Japanese? <sighs> That's just racist. Like, just as asking. Fuck. Just damn asking. It. God damn it. We don't get like that on this show. We don't, oh, my bad. We don't talk about these filthy fucking people that way. I did. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. We we have someone in our family who, uh, for Christmas, uh, maybe they're a bit of a drinker. They, um, uh, fuck it. I don't care. He listens to the show, but I'm going to say it anyway because he knows who he's getting. My brother <laughs> has... Um, <laughs> Has taken to drinking old fashions. That's like his new drink of choice. Yeah. And uh, so for Christmas this year, he asked us for this bottle of old fashioned mixer Mm -hmm. and a handle of Jim Beam. Okay. So my wife is looking at the list of all the things we need to buy. Now, I'm going to be my wife in this scenario. And you guys, um, you you answer as though you were me. Okay. All right. So she looks at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Handle of Jim Beam. How much is that? Where's dinner, bitch? <laughs> How much is a handle of Jim Beam? Yeah. 30, 25, 30 bucks. Thank you. Here's the response I got. <sighs> Meant like ounces. Like, <laughs> how much is that? How many ounces? 1.75 liters. That's liters. Ounces. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. I don't know. Okay. 64. <clears throat> um, that's what I told her. And you would think that that would be like, oh, okay. The response I got was, is that like a quart, a fifth, a half gallon, gallon? What is that? (laughs) Well, it's a half gallon, but let's not just dance past (laughs) the fact that you asked me, okay, you asked me a very generic question, which I misinterpreted. I'll take half the blame on that. But then you asked a very specific question about the ounces. I gave you the exact answer to the exact question you asked, and you still acted like I was fucking playing games. <laughs> you, you acted fed up with me <laughs> because I gave you the answer to the question you asked. That's, that's, that's them, Jeremy. That, they, yes. They do that shit all the time. Who's they? Wives. <sighs> Yeah, that's, that's that's the that's the first thing. Even if you answer it correctly, exactly what <laughs> Derek just did is normally what they do. <sighs> all right, I I can get that. I I got the first question. I misinterpreted. That's Fine. okay. That's all right. But how many ounces? Sixty four ounces. <sighs> <laughs> she was. Still, she just. It's like it's in her DNA now to just be fed up with me. Well, of course <laughs> Just it is. to be sick of my bullshit before I even say it. 100%. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Well, that's our week week recap. Uh, let's move on. How to- many percent is that in metric? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Derek may know. Uh, but uh, before we get on to the sports and fun stuff in the show, so what was that for? I, I, I don't know. Uh, all right. You're Canadian. You might know. I don't know metric. Okay. Uh, but before we get on to the sports, uh, it's, it's 100%. <laughs> we've got. Percent literally <laughs> means per 100. Okay. Uh, we got to move on to our sponsor for this week's episode. It, of course, is the one, the only. Ego Waffles. No. Oh. No, it is manscaped.com. Can you believe that there are people in the world not using the lawnmower 4.0 stuff? No. Can you believe it? People are laughing at you, you dumb fucks. <laughs> <laughs> They're calling you Sasquatch balls. That's right. Because you're not smart enough to buy the proper products to take care of your nuts. Exactly. Imagine Fuckers. the people that are super stubborn, like, no, I'm going to just power through with a beard trimmer and getting all cut up. Yeah. Or they just walk around big hairy nuts. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. gotta give somebody the Arabian goggles and it looks like they got a little mustache. You don't want to <laughs> do that. <laughs> For everybody out there who doesn't use this product, ask yourself how many ounces of hair <laughs> do you think you have on your balls? <laughs> I'm gonna guess around sixty four. <laughs> I don't know how many gallons that is, but it's a lot. It's yep. too many. Yep. Uh, but they have the excellent product that they that they make called the Lawnmower 4.0 with the adjustable LED light and and uh, replaceable ceramic blades mm-hmm. um, and a docking station. So that's pretty damn cool. That's 3.0 uh, by the way also has the interchangeable ceramic blades. Well, the 4.0 it's sharper blades, but sure still, they are. But they're, still, they're, they're, a lot, they're a whole lot they're, smarter. Yeah, exactly. They're smart they're, blades. Their blades are 1.0 better. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but not to mention they have other products. They've got the my favorite, the Weed Whacker, which is for your nose hairs and your ear hairs. Um, Jeremy has talked about their uh, manicure kit that has shears. the shears in it. Yeah, damn right. But, guys, they've got a new product that's out that you can purchase I've now. heard about this. Holy I've smokes. heard about this. This is the new Manscaped Crop Cleanser. Yes. That is the body and hair wash. Means you can do them both at the same time. All right. Ground breaking shit. Yes. So you need to check that out. You know how you always, before you'd have to wash your body, rinse out your loofah, and then get your separate ball wash? <laughs> now you can do it all at the same <laughs> time. The same time. <laughs> one, one swath. I, I am not going to lie. I kind of do this already with regular shampoo. Does anybody else, whenever they're taking a whore's shower, yeah. they get in there and just use the shampoo, wash your hair, and just use that for soap? Oh, that's not what a horse bath is, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean a quick one. I just mean a quick bath or a quick okay. shower. I'm not yeah. a quick bath. A quick yeah, shower. a horse shower is just uh, get wet. cologne and stuff. Oh, no, okay. oh, no that's gotten... just like washing yourself off in the sink and putting oh. on some deodorant and cologne. Got it. Yeah. But, uh, like but, a whore does. Like a whore does. Uh, but no, they've got an excellent product out called the Crop Cleanser uh, Hair and Body Wash. You can check them out at manscaped.com. You can still use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping, which helps you guys out, helps us out, lets them know that we are doing this commercial every single episode perfectly. And, and you know what? T. Normally, I don't, without having like tested a product or you know, smelled it or whatever. I don't necessarily go out on a limb and endorse it, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, I guarantee you, this is good smell and shit. I'm, yeah, I'll, I'll go with you on if that guarantee. If it's anything like every other product that they have, this is going to be some good shit. And if I'm wrong about it, feel free to flip me off <laughs> anytime you see me. Yep, that's exactly right. Thank you to manscaped.com. We appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The sports. Not a Where are the ladies? There's no ladies here. We need more ladies. We need one less man and one more lady at least. Inflatable lady? She's in, Whatever. She's in there. <clears throat> but I was on Facebook the other day, and there was a big headline article, and it said that uh, this uh, the science shows that men with beards, uh-huh. uh, it, it, the beard actually can change or reflect your personality, and most men with beards, studies show, seem to be misogynistic. And I said, sounds like some stupid broad conducted that survey. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. And, and we know about people with beards yeah. and what they're actually <laughs> like. Uh, there's no manliness to them at all. Thanks. They're barely masculine in any form. <laughs> that sucks. The fact that 
you know, he has testicles is, is news to me. Fun. Uh-huh. Real fun. Right. It's like a slip and slide. Uh, first thing up on the sports docket, we got uh, the pay-per-view fight that happened. Jake Paul uh, went up against uh, Tyrone Woodley again mm-hmm. and starched that motherfucker. Okay. There's a lot of stuff going around that this was maybe rigged. I get confused as to which is which. One, Okay, there's two Pauls. One of them's a legit fighter, right? They're kind of both. <clears throat> but one of them's just a fucking internet douche that... That's, had- that's kind of both. I thought one was like a legit MMA fighter. Uh, was, no, no. Jake, are, Jake, Jake Paul and Logan Tyron, Paul. Tyron Woodley is an yeah, MMA Tyron fighter. Yeah, Tyron Woodley is a, definitely an MMA fighter. Okay. He was a five-time uh, champion as well. What about Chris? Does he factor into this at all? No. Okay. No. Um, <laughs> but in all seriousness. They uh, should just make Jake Paul the All-State guy. Mm-hmm. That'd be perfect. That state would, Farm. Or State yeah, Farm. Jake, no, state make, farm. Him the, make him mayhem. Yeah, make him mayhem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. Just causing all kinds of drama and shit. I completely um, fucked that up. What that's is okay. that guy's name? Dean something. Ambrose? Nope. Oh. Martin. Yeah, that's who it is. Dean Martin. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, uh, if you did... If get you, protection if, from if you have, like me, <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a chance to see the knockout punch at all? Yeah, where he, they say that he corked his wrist a little bit and then... Uh, Woodley dropped his hand and then took the punch. Took the punch. Yeah. By corked his wrist, does that mean he, that he, he kind of dug out of the inside of his wrist and replaced it with cork like it, Sammy Sosa style? Yeah. It almost nice. looked like if if he if it were an MMA fight, he kind of corked it downwards as if he was getting ready to get kicked in the leg. Yeah. And left his entire side of his face wide open, and Jake Paul knocked him the fuck out. Okay. Uh, I still don't care. You need to start fighting boxers. Not MMA washed up wrestlers start fighting boxers, and now Le'Veon Bell has chimed in, and he wants to get into the ring with Jake Paul as well. He's not a fucking boxer either. You need to find a boxer. Yeah, Le'Veon Bell's now a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. I don't think they're gonna like that if he is he really. Ring. Yeah, he just got signed by the Bucks. Oh God. Well, and wouldn't he be a good? 25, 30 pounds heavier? Um, I think they'll be pretty Paul? close. Uh, okay. I, they'd actually be pretty close, but it doesn't matter. It, it's at this point, it's like, okay, you want to prove that you're a fighter and a boxer. I was like, I, I, so fight a running back. That'll do it. Exactly. And I'm, I'm done with it. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Fight a fucking boxer. Which, okay, which one fought Mayweather? Is that Jake or Logan? I don't think. That, Logan. No. Logan did. Oh, that's right. Okay, I yeah. about that. Um, so he's, he's the one that's... Has no real actual training, if I'm recalling right. Jake doesn't really. He just fights washed up people, old MMA fighters. Fucking what a basketball player. Yeah, he won't fight a boxer. Okay. Yeah, if you have any remote skill in boxing, he's not the guy for you. Yeah. Um. But but he fought Floyd Wayman Mayweather. No, his brother. His oh. brother did. Yeah. Can we Jake, get off the subject? I yeah. don't care. The about one anymore. that was impressive to me was Darren Williams, my boy from Illinois, knocked Frank Gore Jr. the fuck out. <laughs> so he looked like he was scared when he yeah. did it. <laughs> oh yeah. He and he was an underdog. Oh, was he, he knocked him the fuck out. That's yes, good. he did. That's good. It, that needs to be the expected results. He knocked who out? Frank Gore. Frank Gore. Junior? Or the, not junior, but Frank Gore. Frank Gore. The running back? The, the running, running back. back. Yeah. yeah. Frank, well, I don't know why I said junior, but Frank Gore, the running back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Knocked him the fuck out. All right. So that was always fun. And then... uh, I was thinking Kenny Norton Jr. for some fucking reason. I don't know. Because Ken Norton was a boxer. Yeah, he was. But the best part about it... Muhammad Ali, I believe. Broke his jaw. I met him. Very nice guy. He's dead. Rest in peace. He broke his jaw? (laughs) He did. (laughs) Relax. Break my jaw just like Ali. (laughs) Come on. I'll give you two shots. But the best part about that... Here's a hammer. That whole pay-per-view was the Rapping Twins Island Boys got booed and drinks thrown at them when they were walking into the fight. Good. Thank God. God. I I don't know anything <laughs> about these guys, and I genuinely hate them. I do too. Like if I saw either one of them on the street, I would beat their ass. <laughs> well, for no fucking reason other than just existing. Funny yeah. you say that because I just watched a. I was scrolling through TikTok, and there was a video of one of them like getting into his car on in a parking lot in public, and some guy was like, what "The fuck, you think you're doing?" And it was some gangster that fucking just checked his ass. And he's like, you know, if you come in this hood, you got to fucking, you got to come to me first. You ain't, you ain't allowed out here. And no, I'm sorry, man. He's like, no, you say you a gangster. I'm a fucking gangster. And just <laughs> checked his ass completely. And it was fucking hilarious. He backed down so quick. Epically If, awesome. if a, okay. 
if if a white girl from Minnesota can't wear a Chinese dress without being accused of cultural appropriation, how is the world not all over these fuckers? <laughs> <laughs> where where are they from? Because like Florida or the kind of, islands, apparently. Are they really? I, I don't know. Well, I, don't I mean, it's right in the name, so they must be. <laughs> gotta be yeah. Nobody would make that up. They're clearly from the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <coughs> that went down the wrong pipe. That's okay. <coughs> well, they better uh, hope they don't meet the pirates. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, that's enough boxing for now. Let's move on to the fun stuff. Let's get to the NFL. We forgot about something last week. Totally neglected to talk about it, which I wanted to get both of your guys' opinion on that. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers were on a game-winning drive at the end of the game. Game and tying. Game, or game tying drive, I apologize. Um, Chase Claypool receives a pass, goes down, doesn't go out of bounds, clock still running, and does a first down celebration. Mm-hmm. Then he proceeds to have a press conference after that, throwing the guy under the bus that came and took the ball out of his fucking hands to get it to where they could snap the ball. Yeah, it was an offensive lineman. And and I want to say that I'm totally on Claypool's side here. <laughs> who, who does that fucking lineman think he is? You don't interrupt a man in the middle of a first down celebration. Touchdown celebration, fine. First down, I mean, that's 10 fucking yards he made. I think we need more group first down celebrations. Yes. You, you know what happens if you score a touchdown? You got to give the fucking ball away. You get the first down, you get to keep it. (laughs) And you're going to fucking interrupt. He's dancing. God damn it. Uh, This is why I hate America. (laughs) Uh, But no, what are your, uh, what are your opinions on that? I think we just shared them. Is that it? Yeah. 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 We're we're definitely on Clay. We're team Claypool here. I'm not. Uh, I think. What? Yep. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I think the guy is overly talented. He's got so much fucking talent in the. I mean, he's going to be one of the for best. For dancing, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but he has Did not. You see that celebration? Watch him <laughs> be Holy on dance. shit. Watch him be on the next season of Dancing with the Stars. Oh, God. That'd be great. I heard that celebration was so good they were going to give him five downs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, I think I counted. I think it was a total of maybe 15 seconds that were ran off that clock that definitely made a difference. And so um, they showed also a clip of what happened when Larry Fitzgerald also made a catch very similar to that. And now he got down, he got went down and immediately pushed everybody off of him and ran to where they were going to hike the ball and put the ball on the ground. Well, and that's okay. what needs to happen. But here's the story you're never going to hear. That celebration actually helped cure some of the cancer that cannot be proven that <laughs> cigarettes cause. <laughs> you can't link it back. You're right, Jeremy. You're right. How about you, Derek? Well, I, I'm, I just, I'm done. I got nothing oh, there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, next one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Urban Meyer is no longer a coach in the NFL. I How come was you didn't wrong. make a TikTok you of this wrong. for me? That was the first thing I said. I said he's gone. He's gone. Me and Jeremy both mm-hmm. said he's gone. Well, at that time, we didn't know that he'd supposedly kicked a player. Yeah, we did. N- I didn't know that. Are you guys really buying that shit? That he kicked a player? Yeah. Yeah, I th- actually saw Matt Nagy uh, kick Justin Fields, and then Ryan Pace came sure. through and spit on him. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, so... So I, they need to be gone, guy. too. Yeah. Th- I, this really does seem like something that the like upper management went to the kicker and said... Say he kicked you. Because <laughs> we've already backed him. We need a reason to get rid of this ass. I I heard that like there was a percentage of how forcefully he was kicked. Like they, they had witnesses that said it happened and like, well, he got kicked, but how hard did he kick him? Like what percentage? And they were like, uh, it was about a forty percent kick or a sixty or whatever the fuck they said. That's a pretty good kick. That's a pretty good kick. I mean, if you've seen, you know, you or Derek try to make kicking attempts that's pretty darn oh, i solid. kick hard you don't yeah. know that about me but i kick hard yeah, yeah. get down i'm on actually all fours. i'm known <laughs> i'm known for my kicks i know I, I started know. kicking in grade school so so what do you guys think good move bad move fired too early well i mean they're gonna pay out the ass for it yeah they're still going to have to pay him yeah they, i mean they're so they're kind of stuck there but I, yeah are you sure about that because i'm sure that kicking the kicker <laughs> Violate some, some sort some of kind conduct of clause. Code. No, that's for all we know. That guy's a kicker. He started it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he kicked at me. Yeah. <laughs> what, 
What if Urban Meyer t- called a press conference? No, no, he kicked at me. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going about like like a fucking coward. He's not. He's not been interviewed. He hasn't been anywhere in the media. I guess he fucking bailed before like anybody knew that it had happened. Didn't say bye to his teammates. Didn't say anything. Just up and fucking jetted out of that. Bitch. The kicker? No, Urban Meyer. Oh well. Okay. He finally spoke, but I didn't read what he said. I didn't see it. I he's been conducting himself these last six, eight weeks like he's been trying to get fired. Oh yeah. Yeah. He, he wants, wants to, go to get back to college. college. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh man, I don't think where he happens. can actually pay players whatever he wants. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh but I but here's the other thing. As as the current standings sit, they are gonna get the number one draft peak. Uh, pick for next next year's draft. The Jags, yeah, the Jags will. So they will have had two number one draft picks in a row, and I, I guess that's a good opportunity to go into if you're looking to be a coach. But I don't know. Might be a good time to trade that down since you already have supposedly your quarterback that you want. Yeah, I don't know. That might be a really good time to trade that number one pick away and get a shitload for it. Yeah. I'd spend it on a new kicker. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> one that knows how to block a kick. <laughs> <laughs> or shut his fucking mouth. I uh, like to think that Urban Meyer Crane kicked him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, if do right, no can defend. Uh, next one. I'd be more concerned if Cassius Marsh kicked him. I don't know who that is. That's the guy that fucking did the spin kick for the Bears and got called for taunting against Pittsburgh. Oh, that guy. Yeah, that when guy. he took a step. Is his the real sideline. name Cassius? Yeah. Ca- How Cassius is that not Marsh. cultural appropriation? Nice. Cassius. <laughs> Cassius. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to go Cassius. Okay. okay. If mama named me Cassius, I'm going to call him Cassius. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Okay. Jay. Shit. It's supposed to be Clay. Okay. Uh, next mama one. Named Clay. I'm going to call him Clay. The Chiefs end up beating the Black. Chargers. Uh, I believe that was what? Thursday night there, Jeremy? It was. Um, the, the Los Angeles Chargers had five. Of Anaheim. Of Anaheim. <laughs> five, five fourth down attempts, and they were two of five. And if I remember correctly, three of those fourth down attempts were within the five yard line on the chief side. So they were on the goal line, basically, and stopped. Yep. When is it going to be the time to where you decide to go for it on fourth? And this was this was in L.A., if I remember correctly. Was L.A. It? L.A. Where is the breakdown of this? Because everybody says, well, you have a better chance to go for it on fourth down. And they broke it down, and it's like 68% of the time. Yeah, you're right. Well, the breakdown is about three-quarters of the way through any rap song in the 90s. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but but what, what's your opinion on this? Because I, I do not think they should have gone for it in any of those particular situations when you're playing for a possibility for a playoff berth or even the number one position in, in certain respects if some some things happen uh yeah you're you're basically going for the lead in the division you tie for the lead you you would have both games over the chiefs at that point um being the fact that it went to overtime any one of those if you kick a field goal Mm -hmm. you win that game right that changes the entire outcome of the game i get the idea of wanting to step on the throat of your opponent i also get the idea that they've come to this conclusion that If they're ever going to top the Chiefs, they're going to have to do it in some unorthodox manner. The fact is, though, you need to revert a little bit back and go back to a little more orthodox style and take the points when they present themselves. I agree with that. How about you, Derek? I think you stomp on the throat. I mean, you you, keep going. You got to keep going. I mean, the Chiefs have done nothing but show that they can score quick and and in bunches. So I think last year. Last year they they're still they can still do that. Ugh. So I think you absolutely go for the throat. I don't necessarily disagree with that. Okay. All right. I I say okay. Going into halftime, you got to kick that field goal. A hundred percent. That that to me was just I couldn't believe when they went for it. Mm-hmm. I couldn't believe that the Chiefs stopped them. I couldn't believe I missed the entire first quarter because I was watching Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the other thing. And again. I- does whatever a spider can. Right. The, my, my thing, though, is is that uh, one of the times they were going for it on fourth down was they had a one-point lead at the time. They had the lead. So you scoring a touchdown doesn't really benefit your position. Um, 
if you kick a field goal that puts you up by four, that means that they have to score to go up on you. They can they can kick a field goal and you're still ahead. Mm-hmm. And what ended up happening is if they would kick that field goal, they ended up um, they were in the same situation and they went for it and failed again. So at that point, you would then be up by seven. And in a much better situation, and even you, you still could possibly have gone into overtime, but you're in a much better spot. So, yeah. Well, and if I recall right, didn't they defer on the coin toss? An overtime? Yeah. Oh God, I hope not. I think they may have. Oh, you better and look that up. And it might be the only time I've ever seen that happen. I, you better look that oh, shit up because I don't think that's right. Um. But yeah, I actually fell asleep before overtime. <laughs> My wife was telling me this. Um, then again, she doesn't get you know the whole ounce for ounce thing, right? So um, while let you me look, see. while you look that up, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, next one: the Detroit Lions beat the Arizona Cardinals. Go Dan Campbell, baby! I can't believe that. Did anybody else not see this coming? <laughs> <laughs> we said three weeks ago, they're the hottest team in football. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are on fucking fire. And they didn't just beat them. They fucking destroyed them. <laughs> they beat the shit out I of them. fucking won a dollar and a half <laughs> in Vegas. Really? I, I placed a bet of uh, 78 cents. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm so impressed by that. I I am I think a Lion fan. That's my team. No, you are a Chiefs fan. No, uh, I don't. You are know. A super Chiefs. The Lions haven't even been to the Super Bowl for I know. ever, ever, They've ever. Never been. I ever. haven't been. They haven't won a playoff game since '91. I know. Yeah, so Scotty, were can't you even be born yet, Scotty? '91. Yeah. Yes. Scotty can't be a Lions fan. I right can now, too. He's a Bucks fan. Uh huh. I can ha- I could be a perpetual loser my entire life. You and are I, a perpetual I, loser. Exactly, so I fit in. I see you as a cowardly Lions fan. <laughs> okay. I see him more as a Dallas guy. Uh-huh. No, I couldn't do it. There's no way I could do it. Uh, but uh, but I thought that was just absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm pumped for, for Dan Campbell, and I think that that may help with the momentum going into next season, especially as awful as the rest of it has been. A lot of one one point or like one score losses, uh, final drives that didn't go their way, stuff like that. So okay, okay. Last uh, one before we get to real shit or horse shit. Um, Tom Brady and the I'm, Buccaneers. I, I can't see my fucking phone. I don't have my glasses. That's on. okay. I'm half drunk. Tom Brady gets shut out for the very first time in 15 years against the Saints. And throws a Surface Pro on the ground, breaks that motherfucker. <laughs> and s- went over and screamed at the Saints' sideline. Yeah. Fuck Ca- you, I believe he screamed, didn't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cassius Marsh, one <laughs> step. <laughs> you, you know, flag, taunting. No, one step and a spin kick. No, it was after the spin kick. It was the one step toward, that's why they threw the flag. Mm, wow. Was the, he looked over, I think, I don't even know if it was a step. I think he looked over at the sidelines. Yeah, but have you seen his tattoos? Yeah. I mean, those <laughs> those are just offensive on their own. Tyreek right. Hill throwing up a peace sign. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's another one. Yeah, this is getting ridiculous. Yeah, who the fuck wants peace? Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> Hill. Yeah, exactly. What's the other one? Hang on. I actually screenshotted a thing. Of another taunting one? Another taunting one. Oh, that's yeah. two girls, one cup, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's still gross. Right. It is. It was, uh, oh, uh, waving goodbye. <laughs> CD Lamb. <laughs> oh. Fine $10,300. That's so fucking stupid. Tom Brady cursing out another team's coach. Nothing. Nothing. I'm cool with the CD Lamb thing. He plays for the Cowboys, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine <clears throat> with that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they should be penalized for just being. <laughs> being cowboys That's where I'm, yeah uh, yeah okay they're not real cowboys I, by the way i know they're not very few on there could actually ride a horse <laughs> uh you'd be surprised very few of them have spurs that jingle jangle jingle oh that, okay in fact on game day not one of them <laughs> fine all of them assless chaps yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> Oh man, I did that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not going to fucking explain don't it. Do it. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't push my fucking buttons, Derek. <sighs> you did it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not. Some of these move on. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know what? No, take a break. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> uh, some people don't know, but if you don't know, Jeremy, mm. what did Derek just do? All chaps are assless. <laughs> <laughs> if chaps have an ass in them, those are pants. <laughs> Every fucking time. Every goddamn time. 
All right. Well, now we get to move on to some real shit or horse shit. Uh, first one coming up. Jonathan Taylor should be this year's MVP and not Aaron Rodgers. Is this a kid from Home Improvement? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, he was Randy. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you think, boys? Well, I don't think it should ever be Aaron Rodgers. Of course you don't. No. I would I would say I think Jonathan Taylor makes a good uh argument. Good argument for it, yeah. Sure. Uh I'm gonna go this is as of right now, unfortunately, this is horseshit. You could put Mahomes in there too. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. There's only one there's only there's one team with the best record and a team that has looked the best throughout the entire season as much as consistent as possible. And that's that motherfucker wearing green and yellow. So fuck him. They, uh, no way. Yeah, he's not MVP. He's a piece of shit. He is a piece of shit, though. Uh, Jeremy, did you guys know this? That no pass catcher, no pass catcher has ever won NFL MVP. I'm not surprised. No receiver, no tight end ever, um, <clears throat> and very few running backs. And. So long, I, I think from this point on, it's always going to be a quarterback. And they, the NFL so badly wants to just slob Aaron Rodgers' knob. Mm-hmm. He's going to get it. Yep. Taylor, I think, deserves it. He's certainly the surprise player of the year. Nobody saw this coming. 100%. Nobody saw home improvement coming. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking five seasons yeah. of that shit. Way more than that. No, you're probably right. I don't I remember. No, probably about it. <laughs> I'm going to go six. Uh, let's six! Six! All right. Uh, next one. Uh, this was over last week. Uh, Coach Harbaugh was wrong to go for two to beat the Green Bay Packers at home. Well, Michigan shouldn't have been playing <laughs> Green Bay in the first place. No. I mean, that really seems like they're overmatched. That'd but, be, yeah, you got to take the chance for the win when you can get it. No be, Wolverines. That'd be the Ravens. So the the Ravens were at home against Baltimore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at home against the Green Bay Packers. Uh, Harbaugh and the Ravens worked their way down. Not Harbaugh. Fucking Lamar Jackson and the Ravens worked their way down. It wasn't Lamar Jackson either. It wasn't. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. Yeah, he didn't play that game. I thought he ended up coming back. Uh, but anyways, they ended up uh, getting the opportunity to tie the game, going to overtime at home. Elected to go for two and fail. At home, you go for the tie. On the road, you go for the win. That's what I've always been told. Always been told is is exactly that. And I stick by that uh, in this particular scenario. Jeremy? So, okay, were they on the road or at home? They're at home. They're at home. They're at home. I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) I've done a lot of hard thinking about this, and I just cannot give a shit. (laughs) Okay, fair enough. That's where I'm at. Fair enough. Uh, all right, moving on. Same team. The Ravens will miss the playoffs this year. What's their record? They are in a a four team battle for the AFC seven spot, and I don't remember, but I want to say they are seven and eight right now. But they are in a four team squirrel with um, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Los Angeles Chargers, and the Pittsburgh Steelers now, who uh, just won over last weekend. Pittsburgh I, doesn't seem to want to let themselves lose. I know. They're. I'm going to say it's real shit. I, I really? Yeah. I I think they might miss the playoffs. That's so shit. They've shocking. got their run game is not good. No, no. It's, and you've it's got not. fucking Lamar Jackson in and out of the lineup. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I th- I think that's real shit. I think they could absolutely miss the playoffs. I think it's real shit too. I would uh, I would think that the Los Angeles Chargers uh, are better of than Anaheim. the Ravens. Uh, yeah, of Anaheim are better than the Ravens. But the team that I think is actually going to make it is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals. Told you. Yep, you're right, Jeremy. Um, no, I don't think that they will. I think I think Pittsburgh's going to win that division. Oh no, no. I, I really do. Oh my! If they it, just they, I think Ben is still just good enough and has enough fight left in him. I don't think that they're going to make any kind of a difference once they get to the playoffs, but I think they're going to win that division. Okay, I I gotta say I disagree with that. I've one. been drinking. They oh, still got. Fair. <laughs> they still got Jerome Bettis. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, he's on the bench though. He's like the uh, fourth string. He's the short bus now. Right. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> next, next one. <laughs> next one. Real shit or horse shit. Trevor Lawrence has shown that he is not an NFL caliber starting quarterback. Horse shit. Really? Yes. Explain. It's his, it's his fucking rookie season. Okay. Nobody's usually good their rookie season. He was managed and miss. He was mismanaged. By Urban Meyer, no, absolutely, that's horse shit. You give that guy at least another season, probably two. Next year, if he doesn't make any improvements and he looks like this, then, yeah, it's time to panic. But Yeah, I think it's time to panic already. One touchdown in seven weeks is what he's thrown. Granted, I give you that the Jacksonville Jaguars have a very shitty running game. Very Actually, I take that back. Not even that shit of a, shitty of a running back. Josh Robinson's not that bad. James. James Robinson, sorry. Yeah, but neither is Josh Robinson. Neither is Josh. Let's Josh sucks Josh, too. Josh Smokey is a, Robinson. Smokey's not Smokey's that bad. Smokey's a quality yeah. fella. Yeah, he's got those tears of a clown. But you would think, after all of the tools that he has around him, the only thing that he does struggle or lack uh, is going to be your main pass catchers, which definitely helps. But I still don't think he's shown the overall talent. I think he's looked like shit all season long. And if they end up winning a game, it is because Robinson goes off. It's not because of him. So I think this is real shit. Jeremy? I think it's horse shit. Okay. Complete horse shit, mostly because you think it's real shit. Okay. But also, I mean, you okay, yes, he was the number one overall player, but you dropped him on the worst fucking team last year. Sure. There, one player, even a good quarterback, can't make that big of a difference. Uh. I mean, now you have... 10 players of shit on offense instead of 11, which is what you had last year. It, it, not to mention, he was dropped into the worst circumstances with a coach who has already been fired. With a coach <laughs> who kicks kickers. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, that's true. why he was never really coached up. He was too busy kicking the kicker. Yeah. That coach ain't qualified. He's qualified to kick kickers. <laughs> okay. Obviously. He should put that on his resume. Right. Kick the shit out of kickers. Last 40%. One, last, last one. Real shit or horse shit? I would rather take a free shot at Jackson Mahomes or Jake Paul. Or rather than Jake Paul. Uh, so I'd rather hit Jackson I'd, I'd Mahomes? I'd rather hit Jackson Mahomes than Jake Paul. That's real shit. I, I, right. I'd love to fucking just pop that kid one time <laughs> in the fucking mouth as hard as anybody could. Oh, yeah. I hate that. I hate Jake Paul. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. I think at least he gets punched. Mm-hmm. So at le- I, this kid doesn't get punched and deserves it. Oh, yeah. So I would love to drop that motherfucker. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, this is totally real shit. Apparently, there was a bar in Kansas City that not only kicked him out, but said something along the lines of, we have rules about how you condone and hold yourself up. And just because uh, like your status is somebody connected to somebody who has earned it, you definitely have not. Oh, they no, they were a, they, they were a slucked him over. They were a small up. bar with limited capacity. And he tried to bring his entourage of 30 fucking people in. Yeah, that's what it was. And then when they wouldn't let him in, cause he wouldn't break fucking fire code. He took to social media and shit on the bar to which they then, Reciprocate or yeah, responded. Basically I'll, I'll saying, find yeah. it and read it exactly what they said. He deserves every bit of it. You know who would really love, I think, to probably punch him? Hmm. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> <laughs> Junior and senior. <laughs> Maybe. First and second, He'd Pat s- Mahomes. He still likes his fiance though. I, I hate him. I think I that hate there's... broad. I hate... Yeah. I think that's a lot the kid has to do with it. Oh, that's so. got to be the only thing. I mean, every time he's in a video with her, he looks disgusting. He does. He <laughs> couldn't <laughs> rather be anywhere else. He looks so bummed out. Like, I can't believe I'm in this video. I'm here in the back just trying to eat food. So. And, you know, I, and I think it's kind of bullshit that the media asks him questions about his brother because – he shouldn't have to be responsible for his brother. His brother's a fucking adult. Yeah. His he's wife, 21. on the other hand. He's 21? His brother's 21. Yeah, oh, so geez. he is an adult. I thought he was, a special, I thought he was a special needs 17 They should year call old. him Blackjack. SOT Bar is the name of the bar in yep. Kansas City. Soft. Uh, which I have now liked their Facebook page and plan on going to. Yep. Um, but the actual Don't response, take a big they, entourage. actually mm. the response they said is, we are sorry that we set boundaries that you tried to ignore. Oftentimes people with unearned status and a sense of entitlement think they are above the rules and will lash out at the employee enforcing them. We are sorry we could not seat your very large group. As you probably saw, our, our bar is very small. 
We are sorry that you have the reach that you do, or at least that you think you do, and that instead of using it for something positive, you decided to use it to try and crush a small business. We survived a global pandemic. We'll survive your ego. We are sorry you didn't reach out to us first before taking to social media, but then again, in, in an expectation that we would have from a mature and rational person, not someone who pours water on fans and dances on the memorials of tragically lost people for TikTok clout. Oh damn! We have been fortunate enough to been born into a much more, ta- or we have not been fortunate enough to be born into a much more talented and much more famous family. But we would like to think that if we did have that much luck, we would use our influence in more responsible ways. We hope our apology finds you well. <laughs> Get fucked. You know what really <laughs> pissed me off? They what? came back and retracted they it. They came back and apologized for making that statement. Oh, saying no. that they're above that. And yeah, I, I don't get that. Okay, here's the thing with Jackson Mahomes. I, I checked him out on TikTok. You know how many followers he's got? How many? 900,000. Fucker. Yes, it's more than us. <laughs> but your buddy, uh, Nunley, Nunley? Yeah. has like 2 million. 3.2. That's our new goal. We have to fucking pass Jackson Mahomes on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I, do it. I don't give a fuck about Jackson Mahomes, to be honest <laughs> with you. Um, but it's not like this guy is some super influencer. I don't know why you have to apologize to that guy or retract the fucking statements. Patrick, I could see. If you shit on Patrick, yeah, yeah he's got some actual clout in Kansas City. Most people in Kansas City would like to see Jackson Mahomes take a long walk off a short pier. <laughs> yeah. Not just there, here as well. All right. No, <laughs> only in Kansas City. We all love him here. Oh, okay. okay. He's, he'd be fine. I think he should be the Wind Surge new mascot. No. Show up absolutely. to Wind Surge games. <laughs> no. All right, uh, that's it for the sports this week, ladies and gentlemen. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. I'm not going to talk about my Bears game. Oh, fine. What happened? They got fucking humiliated. Yes, they did. Jesus Christ. And then Matt Nagy, I, the two things that I everybody else hated, I liked. Okay. I liked Tevin, Jen, Tevin Jenkins punching that fucking guy. Yeah. Because Justin Fields has been getting beat up all fucking, all year, fucking year and not getting called yeah, for shit. Yeah, that's true. And it's only Tevin. I think it's Tevin Jenkins' first start was last night. Nice. So that I did like that, and I liked Matt Nagy getting flagged for screaming at the fucking ref. Okay. I liked that the broadcasters uh, over the game were actually talking about, well, now that uh, now that this new rule's in place and they can start interviewing coaches, that, you know, they, he may get fired, he, you know? He may very well get fired. So uh, I... Robert Quinn is at 15 sacks. He had two last year. Mm-hmm. So he was a bust last year, and this year he is uh, two sacks away, I believe, for two and a half sacks away from breaking Richard Dent's record from wow. 1985. So I did like to watch Dickie his play. Dent? Bucky Dent. Oh, uh, Bucky F. Dent. <laughs> yeah, Bucky Dent. And then uh, the other thing was the safety from Oregon. I was reading an article, and they were trashing Matt Nagy because they drafted a safety from Oregon in the sixth round who skipped his 2020 season due to COVID and played fucking brilliant last night. Nice. And uh, had at least three big plays. Played fantastic because the whole secondary is out with COVID, so they promoted him from the practice squad. So it took 15 games for them to play him, and this article just trashed Matt Nagy for – how shitty of a talent evaluator he is. There's no reason this kid should have been on the practice squad. So. Nice. I heard he kicks kickers, too. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yes, exactly. he does. <laughs> All right, now moving on to okay. overrated or underrated. Uh, guys, we do have a couple of fan uh, suggestions in this, um, in this these two next uh, segments. <coughs> Last uh, thing about it. God damn it. Robert Quinn called out fucking referees, which was fantastic. They said the NFL needed to vet their referees better because they're having too much effect on games. I agree with that, That too. was fan-fucking-tastic. I agree with that. Now can we move on? Now we can move on. Okay. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, but you, if you guys you do wish. have any suggestions uh, for overrated or underrated or questions and preguntas, you can uh, look us up at uh, Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Same thing with uh, uh, Twitter, which is at Sidelines pod and uh also tiktok which is at laughing on the sidelines so uh first overrated or underrated is overrated or underrated going sledding underrated really 
Absolutely. A, when you're my size, you book. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're fucking, you're flying. Yeah, you're hauling ass. Yeah, and it's also fun whenever you're, like, taking a little too long to go up the hill. Mm-hmm. And what you're really doing is just building a ramp so that sled, your buddy's not expecting going over that <laughs> ramp. And then the sled shoots out from under his ass, and he hits a tree. <laughs> True story. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, I did that to a buddy of mine. Nice job. I was like, hang on, I'm almost up. <laughs> nice job. Uh, sledding's underrated, man, especially if you live in a town that has a pretty decent like peak of a hill that you can get enough speed to go down Mm -hmm. fuck yeah that's the best part when it snows jeremy you know we used to do when i was a kid uh we would uh get on an inner tube rather than an actual sled and pull it behind a Mm four-wheeler oh that's fucking fun i have never yet been sledding where i didn't just enjoy the fuck out of it (laughs) it always sounds horrible yeah but no if you've got the right conditions and now let me ask you guys you go traditional sled or you go disc? <laughs> Both. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Either one. Yeah. But what do you prefer? Um, I want preferences. Come on, guys. Let's get traditional. into it. I, what I, do you guys do behind I want those the, doors? I want the disc with the Christmas vacation um, lubrication underneath it. I want that for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, want you, I want you to go at extreme velocities. <laughs> okay. uncontrollable speeds <laughs> yeah. right into fucking traffic that's what i want <laughs> and nearly die it, it, you know clark was okay once it, there's no chance it happens again <laughs> yeah Derek? just a traditional fucking plastic piece of shit because usually those book yeah, yeah. they do yeah, yeah they do. i like those I'm, I've always been a toboggan guy myself, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to go. Uh, it's overrated. Uh, over, or, I mean, uh, underrated. 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 Okay, that's fine. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated Christmas lights. Over fucking rated. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why, Derek? <laughs> fuck getting on the roof and fuck paying somebody a thousand dollars to do it for you. It's more than that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, fuck I, that. I, I know somebody who has this done and it's. A lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention your electric bill and those people that put the fucking radio station to it. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Fucking kill yourself. Some of those are actually kind of cool. But still, uh, anyway, go ahead. Th- there's one in our neighborhood. Really? Uh, yeah. They do the whole house Mine that too. way? Yeah. Mine too. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is overrated as fuck. Um, I'm out. I don't put up Christmas lights. I'm not a Grinch, but I don't really feel like it. I don't want to. I don't want to get up there and put them up, and I don't want to get up there and take them down. I don't even like putting the fucking tree up. Yeah, I like the tree. Tree's okay. I got dogs, and they destroy it. I got a tree it, that puts itself up. <laughs> you do. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, Jesus. At this point, I am so over anything that lights up. <laughs> uh, anything that uh, looks like Christmas. Anything that uh, tastes like Christmas, anything Christmas. I am so fucking sick of Christmas. <laughs> I've been sick of Christmas since Halloween. <laughs> That's where I'm at on this. That's where you're at? Okay. Yep. Well, fair enough. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, Christmas carolers. <laughs> overrated. <laughs> I don't like you singing Journey at the Bar. <laughs> I sure as fuck don't want you singing shit on my doorstep. <laughs> no. I don't think those are carolers, Derek. If they're singing Don't Stop Believing on your doorstep. They're that's trolling not, me. <laughs> yeah, they're they fucking trolling me. Yeah. That's the Just new- a small <laughs> town guy. Yeah. That's the new Christmas song. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to hear anybody sing a fucking song. Yeah. Unless they have a recording contract. How fucking dare you that you get up at 9 o'clock in the morning just to bang on my door to sing me songs at this really awkwardness that I have with them, and they're not even that good. Have you like, ever actually had it happen? I, yes. What? Fuck them. I don't think you guys know anything about carolers. They don't sing Journey, and <laughs> they don't come at 9 in the morning. They come at night. Uh, I, I thought I could have swore mine came in the morning. Fuck it. Why would you come to my you house just, at 8 o'clock at night to sing Christmas carols? I think you just had a Shit. hobo. No. And I think they just typically drive down the street, Ugh. and you're supposed to hear them and come out and watch. I don't think so. But whatever. Jeremy? I'm going to go overrated as well. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. There is a song, a traditional Christmas song, called We Wish You a Merry Christmas. And one of the lines in it, one of the lesser-known lines Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) I wouldn't know figgy pudding if it walked in this room right now. 
Okay. You demanding <laughs> cocksuckers. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck your figgy pudding. <laughs> you figgot. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, that's uh, that's the Christmas ones anyway. You think I'm gonna give up my pudding? <laughs> okay. Do I look like a man who parts with pudding? No, definitely not. I part my hair with pudding. I use it as hair gel. Okay. Uh, next one uh, is a fan's suggestion. This is uh, from Cody Avery. He was- oh shit! He was the bass player in Foot Grenade. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good bassist. No, no, nope, not <laughs> okay. really. Not at all. All right. Well, Cody Avery. He played the rubber band bass. <laughs> oh, Just okay. Put it between his toes. Yep. Didn't uh, really work with the band. That's why it never made it big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, giving your significant other a Dutch oven. That will always be underrated. <laughs> There's nothing. Actually, I'm going to change my answer right now. I'm going to say it's overrated. What? Because my wife can't smell from COVID still. Oh, no. Yeah. That but, sucks. But uh, old Denny that put your lights in? Uh-huh. Yeah, my wife hadn't been able to taste or smell since January. Cracked a fart at that Christmas party. She could taste and smell it. <laughs> That's how fucking bad that thing was. It cleared the bar. I believe it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I believe. Didn't he wreck Scotty's house? <laughs> yes, he uh, did. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, no, this is Good so, guy. Great guy. Great guy. Love the guy, but holy fuck. Good, electri- cl- good electrician. Cleared the bar. Oh, yeah. But Those yeah, farts she are 220. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she can't, but she can't taste her smell. So fucking farts have been ruined for me now. That's like nice. I used to fucking lock the windows and turn the heater on yeah. and all. None of it. She doesn't even know I've done it unless she hears it. Mm-hmm. If she if she gets goes deaf, I'm divorcing her because <laughs> oh. I have no more fart jokes ever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is underrated as hell. Uh, there is no better feeling than whenever you can just engulf your, your wife with the covers and uh, make her gag. Can I borrow your wife? Can I just come over one night and just crack one and <laughs> then pull the covers over her head and then you, leave? You bet. All 100%. Right. You're going to be like a fart cuck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're going to be. <laughs> She's going to be like, oh, his farts are so much better than yours. <laughs> they're, they're so much bigger. <laughs> and you're going to be over there jacking off like, what do you have for dinner? <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Broccoli. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Is that a beef stroganoff <laughs> fart? <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? No, I, I think that they're overrated. I don't like the idea of my wife sleeping in the same bed with me. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems unchristian. Yeah. Okay. Well, fair enough. Uh, last one. Uh, overrated or underrated? Repeating everything a friend says to annoy them. Repeating everything a friend says to annoy them. Mm-hmm. Repeating everything a friend says to annoy them. <laughs> Repeating everything a friend says just to annoy them. Everything a friend says just yeah. to annoy them. Yeah. Overrated or underrated? Everything overrated or underrated? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill you both. <laughs> oh, Scotty, the idea that you think you're, you're our friend <laughs> is just offensive, oh, really. Okay, fine. What do you think? I'll always annoy somebody. That's never underrated. Mm-hmm. I know. Ever. I like to do it to you every show. With mm-hmm. or Yep. Yep. Nope. Not any of that stuff. Like yep. anything I can do to annoy you, I'll do it. Yeah. And it's overrated as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking assholes. It's overrated. Jeremy? Um, with friends, it is overrated. And I'll tell you why. I learn my friends' buttons to push, mm-hmm. and I have much better ways of annoying them. Strangers, on the other hand, <laughs> this is a lot of fun with. <laughs> yeah. Because they don't know what's going on at first. Right. Especially like salespeople. Oh, yeah. That's Just, a good one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is overrated or underrated for this week's episode. I wonder, do people who speak sign language do this? Yes. I would love to see that. <laughs> Absolutely. Just mimic all the fucking hand signals that they make. That fucking famous sign language interpreter did the same signs over and over and over again. A lot of love and cigarettes. A lot of love and cigarettes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, now we get to move on to... By question. the way, love yeah. and cigarettes was a band I managed in the 80s. <laughs> oh, is it? Uh-huh. Any good? Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, I never heard of them, Scotty. Yep. 
questions and preguntas. Um, let's move on to the first question. Can I can I announce our what our no. new segment is going to be? No. Before? Okay. All right. Go for this it. This is a segment that I want to do, and nobody else seems to want to, or I don't know if they do want to. Maybe they, maybe they love it. I don't, I don't, I don't really care. care about what other people's opinions are, to be honest. Um, this is a segment that I want to do called Bad Advice. And I want to, that may not be the permanent name of it. That's, I just came up with that on the fly. But I want people to write into us who are having problems in maybe a relationship or just in life, maybe at their job, whatever. Write into us with whatever their problems is, and we're going to give you the worst advice that we possibly can. We'll do like one an episode if we get that many. Sure. If you write into us with a stupid situation, even better. Yep. Uh, so I want to do that. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Yep. And that's Send the only way I'll continue doing the show. <laughs> okay. Send so if you fuckers don't write in, show's over. <laughs> send him to at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram. I'll uh, send him to Jeremy. Okay. Don't do that. Please. Just tell me at the beginning of the day. Okay. I, I already have a lot of bad advice I can give. Okay. I don't need to know what they, they're going through. I don't care. Okay. Go on. All right. Questions and preguntas. We're going to move right. on. First question. First question is... Uh, well, it's not even really a question, but pick up lines for the elderly. Ooh, I got a few of them. Okay. Uh, is that Parkinson's or are you just happy to see me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did it hurt? Oh. Or no, wait, no. Did you break it? Oh, I got you. Your hip when you fell from heaven? No, oh, that's And uh, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put D and R together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's do not resuscitate. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I went. Uh, you want to take out your teeth and go upstairs? That's mine. Jeremy, this depends. It's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. No, it's not. It's clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of those weird fucking fetish chicks that are into the dirty. Depends. That's uh, that's weird. The that's two, gross. Two girls, one cup of your Two girls, samples. one diaper. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And, All right. and they're not really girls at that point. They're right. Old ladies. Yep. Uh, next one. What? Inappropriate times to crack open a beer. Hi, my name's Janice, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> oh. Every time I drink, I just can't say no, and I end up getting blackout drunk and just sleeping with complete strangers. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yep, that's good. Uh, let's see. Uh, when you're over at Derek's watching a UFC fight, <laughs> fuck it, a. <laughs> Don't do it. You'll be an asshole. It was uh, the first one was okay. I think it was the fifteenth one that was. Yeah, that one will get you in a lot of trouble. Sorry <laughs> about that. Uh, Jeremy, I think probably whenever you're recording a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, pretty pretty good. But yeah, yeah. Uh, next one: If your thoughts were amplified on loudspeakers, drive, fucking go, <laughs> go. Why are you going five under in the left lane? Oh yeah, that's not that's not if you turn your thoughts up. That's me screaming. Yeah, same. At the steering wheel. Done that all day today. God, people. Uh, let's see. If your thoughts were amplified, amplified on the last videos. I wonder when Derek's going to come out of the closet. Oh. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy? None of you are necessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't like the fact that you're out when I'm out. I don't <laughs> like the fact you have faces. The Holocaust was a lie. I love <laughs> Snickers bars. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, next question. What your spouse is thinking right now. <sighs> Why did I put that fucking centaur painting above the fireplace? <laughs> <laughs> did she really? Oh yeah. Oh fuck. Yes. And there's like a light right there. Oh, that's perfect. That like is meant to shine right on an art picture. Yes. And it's fucking dead on there. It's a little led light. That's perfect. Okay, what your spouse is thinking right now. I wonder when Scotty is going to come out of the closet. Mm. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> we're all kind of thinking No that. tag, yeah. really? Come on. When's Derek going to come over and Dutch oven me again? 
<laughs> yeah. How about you, Jeremy? I wish my dad would shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 poor poor Jeremy. Or Hero Johan Soy Chopstay. Okay. You know what? I apologize to her dad. That was inappropriate what I said about her dad. Yeah. Okay. Uh but we all kinda wish he'd shut the fuck up. <laughs> all right. Last one. Rejected names for Santa's reindeer. <laughs> uh, queefy, beefy, fatso, scumbag, doucher, pedo, jugs, and Greg the Jew. <laughs> oh my God. They never he, let he, Greg the Jew play in any of their Christmas games. <laughs> why, why is he even there? He doesn't even celebrate Christmas. <laughs> oh. He's the only asshole with a flashlight. That's oh, why. Man. It's dark out here. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, f- let's see. All right. On fuckhead, on moron, on meth head and bitchy, on snowflake, on Adolf, on Heinrich, on itchy. Heinrich. Heinrich. I like Heinrich. <laughs> <laughs> Those are mine. He, Jeremy. He was, he was one of the better Nazis. <laughs> Heinrich Himmler was... Uh, on Belcher, on Felcher, on Plumper and Shitson, on Vomit and Stupid and Dick Face and Fistin. <laughs> <laughs> you made me die. I wish. Oh, oh man. I wish. That one wins the... That would be a Christmas miracle. That one wins the episode for today. Okay. All right. Well, that is our questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so much for sending in your suggestions. Keep laughing, asshole. Nope, not quite oh, yet. Shit. Now we God get to move it. on to a very important part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, guys, this is our Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Uh, how did we do last week? I probably won because I'm awesome. You did win. Yep. You want to guess what I came in? <laughs> probably your dad. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would imply he's a top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. No. Uh, I came in dead last, uh, which means, uh, Jeremy, you get to be sandwich picks again. Why love do it. people love Derek so much? His picks were shit. My picks were fantastic. They sucked. I had jackass. Yeah. Yeah, that, that won it for that you. That won it for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was the one pick. All right. I am so angry that I missed it. Yep. On uh, this week's uh, draft, this is going to be the Christmas episode. So naturally, this is going to be our least favorite Halloween Christmas. Halloween costumes. <laughs> yeah. Our least favorite Christmas songs. I get first pick this week, and I'm going to go with Santa Baby. Okay. Hate that fucking song. So that means, Jeremy, you get next pick. All I want for Christmas is you. Oh. That was mine. Hate that fucking song. Yeah. Because I don't want you. <laughs> I want the exact opposite of yes, that. Yes, I want to be left the fuck alone. <laughs> I want no one. I don't even want a room at the end. Just make me like Jesus, except without parents right. there. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll take the myrrh. Okay. That he got. If I could just me alone with a big bucket of myrrh. Yeah. How about you there, Derek? Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Oh, oh I like that one. I That's why hate I hate that it. song. <laughs> now, when did that happen? <laughs> what, was she, what was she doing? I don't know. She was walking home from our house Christmas oh, Eve. Oh, Christmas Eve? Okay. Yep. Fair enough. All right. Derek, you get one more. All right. Uh, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. God damn it. That was the one I wanted. All right. Jeremy, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Dude, dude, that was the other one I wanted. Motherfucker. I'm a little better than you, Scotty. A little faster. A little sharper. No. You're right. A lot better. 
lot sharper. Uh-huh. I mean, the, the difference is immeasurable. A hip hop, hip hop, but if you were gonna say how many ounces, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am better than you at least sixty four. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I've got a couple though that I still like. Um. There was a Christmas song by Tiny Tim that was a little over the top. Uh, that was called uh, Santa Claus Has Got the AIDS. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that might be my favorite Christmas carol. <laughs> if they come singing that at my house. It's Tiny Tim, man. I, I don't know anybody that likes Tiny Tim. You don't like Tiptoe Through the Tulips? <laughs> no, I don't. How do you hate Tiny Tim? Tiny Tim, I don't the know. The guy died on camera. I Oh, that's right. He did. I forgot about yeah. that. I totally forgot I'd about that. I respect anybody who dies on camera. You right. got that kind of commitment to your art? Yeah, that's true. And by that, I mean some guy named Arthur. That fucking aardvark? Yeah. You commit to that guy? Oh. Mm, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with one uh, that some people like and I don't. I'm going to go with Jingle Bells. Yeah, too many parodies of that crap. Yep. Uh huh. Are, are you talking traditional Jingle Bells? Or are you talking about Batman Smells? <laughs> no, Batman. Because I know Derek's a big Batman guy. Yeah. You don't want to say that around him. <laughs> Batman Smells is okay, but just the uh, regular Jingle Bells can suck it. Saying Batman Smells to Derek is like saying the N word. Oh man, I'm so That's, sorry. That is his N word. That's uh, let's see here. Um, I I can't remember the actual name of this song, but I know I hate it. Okay. Uh, and and I, God damn it. Yeah, um, I thought that was the name of it. I I love the Beatles, but a wonderful Christmas time can suck my dick. <laughs> and that's that's just it's, where I'm at. It's just too happy. It's just not the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, that's fuck you guys. Uh huh. Fuck all Fab Four of you. Yep. And Pete Best, too. Right. Okay. What? Derek, you get two. Uh, 12 days of Christmas. God damn it. It's too fucking long. Yeah. Some guys too made many birds. Yeah. Yeah. Some guys made a pretty cool rendition of it, though. Doubt it. And it did. And uh, I'm going to go with yeah, another. The McKenzie cl- Brothers. They, they were great. Yeah, they were awesome. Another classic, Deck the Halls. Mm. Oh, I don't mind. All right. Jeremy. Uh, Little St. Nick by the Beach Boys. I guess I don't know that one. Yeah, you do. And, and you hate it. Okay. You should, anyway. If you like it, I quit. <laughs> okay. That's just where I'm at with this. Uh, okay, I get two. <clears throat> Let's see. No... I did have some fucking really good ones, and I don't... Uh, now I don't know where it is. Uh, Justin Bieber Mistletoe. Because it's fucking Justin Bieber. Okay. And then... I'm, I'm going to go... I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. So that wraps up my list. Jeremy, last pick. Um, hang on. I need the name of this actual song again. <laughs> Fuck you and everybody who looks like you. <laughs> I, what is it called? Wonderful Christmas Time? Yeah, that's the Beatles. Oh, that's the Beatles. Yeah. Well, who's playing that? Oh, God damn it. Need some help. <clears throat> I hate this song, but I don't think anybody's going to know what song I'm talking about. It's Andy Williams. Okay. Uh, called Happy Holidays. Okay. And I know what it is. It's the holiday season. Oh, so yeah. boop dee doo and dickery dock. Oh. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck everyone he's ever known. I would like to see him die in a sledding accident. That's, <laughs> I went to Disneyland at Christmas time for three days straight and walking down Main Street USA, hearing that bullshit just blaring over the speakers as I'm being crushed by the 
waft of unwashed humanity <laughs> just trapping me in. That's all I can think about. Fuck Andy Williams. Okay. How about uh, you, Jeremy? I did or like Derek. him as, you as little Linus pick. Burdett yeah. in, in Smokey and the Bandit. Uh, Christmas Shoes. Christmas Shoes. I don't think I know that one. I don't know if that's Andy Williams. I don't know. That's where they, uh kid's mom's dying and the guy buys her a fucking pair of shoes on the line. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, she's terminally ill and buys her a fucking pair. The guy's like, oh, I'll pay for the shoes for your dying mom. <laughs> oh, ouch. The yeah. fuck does she need shoes for? Right? She's dead. <laughs> buy, buy them for a kid in need. What buy them some fucking Jordans. I can't believe nobody picked Rud- Rudolph the Redneck or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Ranger. The Redneck Reindeer. <laughs> Red- Red- Redneck <laughs> Reindeer. <laughs> that fucking Redneck Reindeer. really shiny a truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And if you ever saw it, you'd say, man, he fucks. <laughs> and you know he does. Yeah. yeah, yeah I guess sure. got a red fucking reindeer cock, got a big red bulb on the end of it. Yeah, absolutely. All of the other reindeer <laughs> used get- to scream racist names. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I'm getting wet thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm at. All right. Uh, well, the guys, that is our draft for this week. Uh, you can go on Facebook on Wednesday, probably around noon, and you can vote for your least favorite Christmas songs. Vote for the list that has the most of your least favorite by clicking on the corresponding emoji, and the winner gets nothing. That's just the way it works. They get first. They get uh, championship picks next week. That's it. Uh, but they can they, buy themselves a belt if they want. They can if they want to, but uh, only cool people do that shit. Uh, but anyways, um, now we get to... I would love to buy you some fucking pride for Christmas. I got plenty of it already. Yeah, he fucking marches in a huge parade every yep. year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now we get to move on to... What are you hiding behind that beard? Nothing. You got secrets. No, nope, a beautiful face. You don't want to see it with the black light on. No. Nope. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> now we get to move on to my favorite it's part of, of every single episode. Jizz. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer. And Legos. That's right, Scotty. Scotty, let me ask you a question. Okay. What day of the year is Christmas? Uh, December 25th. December 25th. Do you know what December 26th is? Boxing Day. I was talking to Scotty, but yes. (laughs) Boxing Day. I'm fucking half Canadian. (laughs) Well, on Boxing Day in 2004, a massive earthquake registering at a 9.1 on the Richter scale off the west coast of Sumatra, Indonesia, in the Indian Ocean, uh, caused a tsunami uh, that lasted almost seven and a half hours. It created waves of over 100 feet tall, that basically went crashing into the Gulf. It first struck Sri Lanka, then Sumatra, then the east coast of India. It destroyed several cities and killed 230,000 <laughs> fucking people. God. I remember that. Yeah. It yeah. would forever be known as the Boxing Day Tsunami. <laughs> and now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos! Grab a snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's awful. Okay. That is awful. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. If that does anything. It teaches you learn to surf. That's can, right. Can, yeah. can we all agree? Fuck you, Legos. <laughs> Why would you support such an awful thing? Yeah. God damn, that's terrible. horrible. Yeah. Anyways, go on. This week's shitty situation is, would you rather... Go Christmas caroling in a bad neighborhood, or by bad neighborhood, what do you mean, black? <laughs> just Jesus, a, just a rough neighborhood. Hey, Scotty Jeremy? said, it. "I'm just, I'm just asking I what Scotty means." I, I we all know what he means. That a, just a rough neighborhood, um, urban. or okay, we'll go urban. <laughs> okay, or would you rather have a wife that calls other men over to give her Dutch ovens because yours aren't stinky enough? <laughs> the Dutch oven cock, huh? Yeah. I guess. DOC. <laughs> DOC. <laughs> That's a whole different kind of orange jumpsuit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, 
I, I'm going Christmas Chris, Christmas caroling in a rough neighborhood. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I'll make it. We're we're trying to spread joy. You know, I don't I don't think people will take it so terribly. Okay, but if they do, you're fucked. So right. that's what I'm taking. I'm gonna go the Dutch oven cuck, and here's why. Okay. Maybe it'll help my wife get her sense of smell back. <laughs> Called Denny over from time yeah, to time? Yeah, right. Hey, Denny, <laughs> need to trigger these receptors a little more. Uh, oh, I, boy. Yeah, I, I'm going to do this just because I love my wife and I want to help her out. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, such a kind So heart. you're doing it out of love. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> um, let me ask you this, because your wife... It, it, it's this still going on? Yes, since January. I of, was going to say, it's been about a year since she's had COVID. Yeah. Holy fuck. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Did you ever think her nose is just lazy? <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that about her. Maybe. She's got a lazy nose. Yeah. No. She, she's man, got a I nose could, like a basset hound. <laughs> I could fucking crack one off in the car before she had COVID and we'll shut the door and we'd go in somewhere and come back out and, oh, she mad. <laughs> not, like we not were anymore. Like we yeah. were inside for an hour I, and it still stinks in here. I'm like, mm-hmm. fuck. <laughs> That's potent. Yeah, that is pretty potent. Yeah, not so no the, more. So not the idea, more. you're going to have a very small selection, a, a very small pool of talent Absolutely. to come over and blast your wife's nose holes open. <laughs> okay. How about you, Jeremy? She's going to fart all over her face. Um, I'm going to go with Christmas caroling in the bad neighborhood, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I rarely go anywhere without a gun. <laughs> And uh, I don't want to give people my address. <laughs> okay. I don't want people in my fucking house. I agree. 100% I agree with that. To fart or do anything. Right. Really? Yeah. You've moved I, since the last time I've been over to your I, house just to get away from me. Yeah, I would have done that anyway. Um, <laughs> and, and, yeah, I, I gave you my neighbor Lloyd's address. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. I don't Especially if that, that Dutch oven cook uh, that's an ad on Craigslist. Right. Tell you about that motherfucker. Which one? I told you about Lloyd, right? Well, that time that he came over to my house. Bitching about your, her kid? No. Oh, no, then. Bitching about, where's my snowblower that you borrowed? I don't know. Check the fucking pawn shop, Lloyd. <laughs> That's where I left it. <laughs> Dip Great. shit. He, we had an argument one time. He said that my fence was on his property, and I said that he was a worthless pile of pig shit. <laughs> And, boy, we went round and round about that for a while. <laughs> Who won? I like to think I did. <laughs> okay. Fair He's enough. He's an idiot. Anyways, guys, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines episode. Um, thank you guys so much for what you do, uh, sharing our TikToks, all of the things that we are posting. We are now on Twitter, which is at Sidliners Pod, spelled correctly now. Um, I it's, will put... It's pud. It's Sideliners Pud. Fuck off. <laughs> um But uh, I'll be putting a little bit more uh, risque uh, videos on there. Hopefully, we won't get kicked off of Twitter. Um, But you can follow us everywhere at Laughing on the Sidelines. We're at Laughing on the Sidelines pod or podcast. Um, If you have trouble finding us, you're not a very smart individual. So, but anyways, as always. Boom! Fucking sick burn, Scotty. God damn. Yep. Sizzle that. Yep, that's right. Uh, But as always, guys, thank you so much for uh, telling your friends and your family about us if you like us. But if you don't like us... Uh, We hope Santa's reindeer shit all over your car. (laughs) (laughs) If you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Uh, Just picture me ringing a goddamn Hershey's kiss like a bell and not getting mauled by a polar bear. (laughs) Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you guys later. Have a Merry Christmas. Take care.